Hello, Tom Fresa here from the Naval History and Heritage Command, and today we are again going to be cooking with history with a recipe out of the 1945 edition of the Cookbook of the United States Navy. And the recipe we'll be focusing on today, in honor of Navy Week, San Antonio, Texas, is beef chili con carne. So I'm really excited about this recipe for a few reasons. Uh, first off, I already have the, uh, the cornbread ready to go with this dish, which uh, uh, it's the same recipe out of this cookbook. But what's really exciting for me is that it's a dish that sailors aboard USS Texas, uh, BB-35, would have most likely and probably did have during World War II. So it's a, it's a historic dish, uh, not only for World War II, but also locally in Texas, because the Texas is the last surviving dreadnought battleship that is a museum ship today in Texas that uh, you can visit. And we get to try a recipe that those sailors most likely had. So we're going to uh, get into it and uh, go through the ingredients, and you can try it at home as well. All right, so we've scaled down the ingredients, so again, you can try this at home. And uh, going through them, because originally this was meant for 100 people, so the, 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 the portions are, are huge. So we've scaled it down for you so you can try. So let's go through the ingredients. Uh, first off, uh, chili beans, small red. Originally, one number 10 can. Now, a number 10 can is a very large can that holds about uh, uh, three-fourths of a gallon. Uh, we're going to be using three-fourths of a cup. Next is beef, boneless, originally 25 pounds. We'll be using around three pounds. Next is garlic, crushed, originally four cloves. We'll be using one. Next up on the list is beef fat. Uh, originally one pint, we'll be using one-fourth of a cup. Next is beef stock. Originally two gallons, we'll be using four cups. All right, next is pepper, cayenne. Originally one tablespoon, we'll be using half a tablespoon. Next is chili powder. Originally one and one-eighth cups, we'll be using two tablespoons. Uh, next is salt. Originally three-fourths of a cup, we'll be using four teaspoons. And then finally, tomatoes, again, Originally one number 10 can, we'll be using one and a half cups. And here's the makeup for all of the ingredients. Uh, press two thirds of the beans through a food chopper. Leave the remainder whole. Cut meat into half inch cubes or grind. We're going to be using ground beef. Uh, cook crushed garlic in fat until yellow. Add meat, cook until browned. Add enough stock to cover. Stir in cayenne pepper, chili powder, and salt. Cover pans tightly. Let simmer for three hours or until meat is tender. Now remember, this is for 100 portions, so it may cook a lot faster than that. Add remainder of stock as needed to keep meat covered. Mix ground beans, remaining whole beans, and tomatoes with meat. Heat to boiling temperature. Serve immediately. And there's actually a variation here as well. Uh, veal chili con carne, which states that uh, veal may be used in the place of beef. So we're going to get into this recipe. I'm hungry and ready to go. And I'm really excited to try this out and uh, experience what the sailors aboard USS Texas probably ate. All that's left to do now is to plate up our uh, chili con carne on the 1945 U.S. Navy mess tray with the cornbread and, of course, coffee, which is served at basically every meal aboard vessels. And here we go. So, all that's really done, all that's really left now is to give it a try. And uh, I'm going to take it off of our World War II mess tray here and uh, try it out. And from the smell of it, it definitely smells pretty good. And it smells uh, very strong and spicy, so I'm going to try not to uh, burn my face off here and uh, try a bite. It's actually not bad. Uh, it's your basic chili. It, it, it's full of a lot of uh, a lot of flavors, which I'm, I'm sure that if you had some uh, uh, 
freshly dried and dried uh, uh, chilies to put in there would be a whole lot better. And it may not be, it may not compare to some of the, the chilies down in Texas, but for World War II standards, it's hot, it's filling, and it has a bit of a flavor to it, unlike some of the other meals, which are just flavored with salt and pepper. So I highly suggest you try it out. Uh, definitely pair it with the cornbread because I think it'll work pretty well together. And it's another pretty good recipe out of the 1945 edition of the cookbook of the United States Navy. If you would like more information, please visit the website of the Naval History and Heritage Command, history.navy.mil, and we'll see you at our next cooking video.